Hello everyone, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation of a sample. And now when you're dealing with samples as opposed to populations, you're going to notice a couple differences. One is the notation differences. We use different symbols to represent the same sort of ideas. And we also have slight formula changes and you'll, you, you can see those differences if you look at my other videos where we use the exact same data but we calculate uh, a different, uh, different end product. So in this case we're calculating our sample standard deviation and here we have we start here on this side we have a little n to represent the number of scores in our sample. So we have one, two, three, four, five scores so I'm going to go ahead and throw a 5 down right here. Now, next we want to calculate our sum of scores, or sum of x. <clears throat> and so we're just going to sum up each of these individual values. So we have 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4. That gives us 20. Finally, we have M, and M represents the sample mean. And this, the formula for the sample mean is the sum of x divided by little n. So coming back over to here, the sum of x is 20 divided by little n, which is 5, is going to give us a sample mean of 4. Next order of operations is to fill in this column right here. X minus M. So all we're going to do is do 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. 5 minus 4 is equal to positive 1. 7 minus 4, positive 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then we move over to the next column, and here now you can see we have x minus m, which is this column, squared. So all we're going to do is square each of these values and then put them in their respective rows. So 3 squared, or negative 3 squared, is positive 9. 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 9. 1 squared is 1. And 0 squared is 0. And you can have these little positive symbols here just to remind you. Okay, so finally then we calculate our sum of squares. And you can see our sum of squares formula here that we're using is the definitional formula. Okay, so all we want to do then is sum up each of these values. So we have 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 0 is going to give us a sum of squares of 20. <clears throat> now that we have our sum of squares value of 20, we want to calculate our sample variance. So our sample variance formula, as you can see over there, is just our sum of squares divided by little n minus 1. And so we'll get 20 divided by 4 which is then going to give us a sample variance of 5. And finally, to calculate our sample standard deviation, we can just square root 5, and we will get approximately 2.2. Now, this is the definitional formula for the sum of squares and we've used the sample standard deviation and sample sa uh, sample variance formulas and if you want to see how to calculate the standard deviation for uh, population or if you want to use a computational formula just go ahead and check out my other videos but if you have any questions feel free to message me and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.